next 7.5 moments of inertia for composite area so this is the last objective of the lecture so what is the composite area so everyone here should understood composite area is made of complex shape parts or by adding and subtracting a series of simple shape like a rectangle triangle and circle so let's do this exercise so for this number one number one shape so this figure so this figure this composite can be made of the this is what what is this this is the rectangle so we can name it as one okay number two we have triangle here and then the hollow here so the hollow here also the rectangle so we name it as the number three okay figure number two so figure number two so figure number two so you can have number one what well you can see it this is also rectangle so number one and then number two you can have triangle and then the last one circle circle if you have follow here so after this you need to minus so this is uh the first part that you can divide it. another part you can have you can like this ah uh, to make a larger rectangle larger rectangle but if you can uh, if you have the larger rectangle so you have two minus so just now we only have the circle but now we need two minus for this rectangle understand all right next that is the uh that is the full step for analysis a moment of inertia for a composite area in term of a given coordinate system so number one we need to divide the composite area into the simpler shape or we can call it as a regular shape so as usual uh, if we have shape like this this is we have number one we have the uh, rectangle and then number two we need to minus circle this one we need to minus circle okay no oh, this one minus all right so uh step two we need to locate the central of each part and indicate the perpendicular distance from uh central to the reference as is so let's say for this example uh, we have uh, this is the as is x so we need to know uh this is the central and this is the central of the circle so we need to know what is this perpendicular distance so this is the y and also this is the dy all right uh, the first uh, this is the okay the first step divide the into regular shape and uh, the second step we need to locate where is the centroid next okay next uh, determine the moment of initia of each regular shape that we have uh, divided about its central order as is so it means that uh, you need to refer to the geometric table so you must remember eh? uh, so uh, central order means that if the i x bar or i y bar okay if the central order as is does not coincide with the reference as is, use the parallel axis theorem to determine the moment of initial of the part about the reference as is. So, have you remember the parallel axis theorem? So, parallel axis theorem, we have moment of initial about x is equal to i x prime plus a d y square, and similar for the I1 is equal to I1 prime plus A dx square. Right? Okay, and the last one. Okay, um, the last one. After we tabulate into the table, then we can have the summation. Then you must remember that when we have the composite part, when we have 
cold. So, the moment of initial the area, we must subtract the. Okay, if if you have cold, you must subtract. Don't forget that. Normally, student will make a callous or we make a mistake um, about this, this kinds of thing. Okay, everyone, you should remember this one, huh? Okay, next we go through the example 7.3. So, what is the shape? What is the cross section of this uh, uh, figure? So, this is the I section. So, determine the moment of initial of the area about the X axis and the radius of duration. So, first, where is the X axis? So, here... It be given this is the x as this is, is the central of the composite area. Oh, so the axis here is the central. So let's say we we make a this is the x because this is the x prime, this is the y prime, right? So this is the y, this is the y, okay. So now we need to divide this uh, I shape into how many shape? So we have this one we can have one. Okay, this is one. And then this rectangle also two. And then this one is three. Okay, must remember eh, the first step. Is to divide the, the composite into the regular shape. So for this case, we have very simple shape. It's only rectangle. So uh, we have divided into three. Okay. Next. Okay. We need to determine the distance, right? The distance from the axis x to the centroid. So here, I uh, you should you have skill you should be able to determine the central of the composite area so we have done uh, from the previous chapter right so for this case the second step we need to determine the distance okay so uh, the distance from the centers to the x axis okay so this is our x right this is our set. Okay, alright, so the first part, this is the first part, so this is the first part, so this is the second, and this is the third part. So we must tabulate this part, this numbering into the table. Okay, so now um, we already determined this is the central so this the central okay uh, for this case um, uh, the what we call it the um, the reference okay the reference is this is from the top can okay? from the top so we have the y bar is equal to 200 200 mm from the top so uh, this is the Centroid. So this is the centroid. This is the centroid. S prime. Alright. So um, we need to determine um, what is the distance from this centroid of the composite to the centroid of the regular shape number one. So here uh, we get that uh, D1 is equal 175. How to get that? How to get that? So this one is um, this one is one hundred fifty. So one hundred fifty central means that divide by two. So divide by two is seventy five. So eh, sorry, sorry. This is fifty. This is fifty. So fifty divided by two is twenty five. So twenty five, twenty five. So we need to twenty five. This is twenty five. So we want to know this distance only. So we can minus 200 minus 25. So we can half here. D1 is 175. Alright. And then second shape. Okay. Second one. Okay. Second one. What is the distance? 
Uh, so this one coincidentally, this distance is zero because the central of the uh, regular shape is coincident with the central of the composite body. And then the last part, the last part, uh, this distance from the central to this central of the regular shape is 175. Why negative? Because it's at the bottom from the or uh, centroid here so, so the centroid here is zero right uh, so from uh, go down become negative 175 next we need to tabulate everything into the table so this table we have column for numbering so numbering for the segment that we have divided for the composite area. So now the first column. So how many parts we have? So we have, we have three, right? So you may write one, two, and three. Okay. The next column, we need to uh, determine the ix prime. So ix prime, you can have from the table, properties table. Mm, geometric you may refer to the geometric properties table so uh, for this uh, example we have rectangular right so here rectangular for the ix prime uh, bh cube over 12 so you need to calculate for all the uh, moment of inertia the central moment of inertia for the uh, segment 1 segment 2 and segment 3 Okay, and then the next column, we uh, you need to place, you need to substitute the value for the D. This is what? D is the perpendicular distance that we have identified before. Uh, so, you have uh, put the value for the segment 1, segment 2 and segment 3. And then, we need to uh, power of the D, the distance. Say for this K, we have dy, right? Uh, dy. So dy power of 2. And then we, we have the column for the area. So area uh, for the divided shape. Uh, for the number 1, number 2, number 3. And then we have, we, we need to multiply uh, the A, D squared. And then the last one, we can have the moment of initial about the x so this is the formula so i x is equal to i x prime plus a d y squared so you need to uh, get this value this value and the last one to get the total entire composite area so we need to sum so we need to sum all of the parts all all the shape so we can have here 7.291 times 10 to the power of f millimeter power of 4 so this is the moment of initial about the x axis when it's passed through the centroid next the question asks to determine the radius of direction so we understood that the formula for the radius of direction kx is equal to square root ix divided by a so now we already determine the area and also the ix so now we just calculate the kx so substitute the value and then you will determine you will make you you get the 144 mm so that's all for the Example 7.3